What's up guys, Sal here. So the biggest highlight of the Pixel 6 is gonna be its new SOC. This Tensor chip that Google has developed from scratch will reframe the narrative away from gigahertz and towards the artificial intelligence and machine learning in phones, areas where Google of course has a big advantage over competitors like Apple, Samsung and Qualcomm. Google officials said with the Pixel 6, the standard stuff people look at will be very competitive and the AI stuff will be totally differentiated. And one of these AI features of this Tensor chip is called Live Translate. Google is integrating parts of Google Lens, Translate Assistant, and Live Caption into one feature called Live Translate. The phone will offer the ability to generate live translated captions when you're watching or listening to content in another language without needing an internet connection. Suppose you're watching a YouTube video in French and you don't understand French, in which case you can just tell the Pixel 6 to translate the video in English and the handset will do that in real time and the impressive thing about this is that it doesn't require an internet connection. The Tensor chip is powerful and smart enough to do that locally. Of course, this isn't the only thing the chipset can do. Google has already highlighted features like offline voice typing or dictation, better HDR video processing and the ability to reduce blur in photos and videos and much much more. Anyway, we've mentioned in the past that Google has kept a big marketing budget for the Pixel 6. It's as big as what Samsung keeps for their Galaxy S series of phones. And we're already seeing the result of it. Various billboards of the Pixel 6 are popping up across New York and many parts of the US. Not only that, but also in Japan, Google is selling custom potato chips to promote the Pixel 6. Kinda silly, but definitely creative. With that said, beginning with the Pixel 2 series, Google introduced a novel hardware feature whereby you could squeeze the size of the phone to bring up the Google Assistant. Some liked that, some thought it was just a gimmick. With the Pixel 5, Google dropped the feature for some reason. But there were some rumors that Google is planning to bring back the feature with the Pixel 6, but turns out that's not gonna happen. A source of XDA who actually has a Pixel 6 confirms that the phone doesn't support Active Edge. Anyway, he also shared some more details about the handset. The Pixel 6 Pro will support 120Hz at its full maxed out Quad HD Plus resolution and the display panel is LTPO with an adapted refresh rate. It's also mentioned that the always-on display will support a variable refresh rate between 10Hz and 30Hz. He also mentioned camera features like baby mode and a motion de-blur. Although they didn't say exactly what these will do, it's safe to say they will leverage the AI components of the new Tensor chip. And here are the updated specifications of both the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Google officials said both the handsets can deliver the all-day battery. Google will announce the handset on October 19th. Let me know what do you think down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.